Japan is actually 32 miles off the coast of Honduras. We're a little island, a chain of islands in the Bay of Honduras. Utila, Guanaja, Cayos Cochinos, and Roatan is in the middle. I've heard a lot of people call it the gem of the Caribbean because it's long, narrow, and uh, green. You can have beautiful beaches, and also it's affordable. Roatan, unlike a lot of the other islands in the Caribbean, is a very mountainous island and it's surrounded by the second largest barrier reef in the world. So we have a lot of different rainforests, birds and animals that a lot of other tropical islands don't have because they're flat. What makes it really special is it, there's a natural state of um, being, you know, that freedom, being able to be who you are and whenever you're ready to be that person. There are a variety of things to do on the island. Number one, scuba diving. You know, we have iguana parks, uh, underwater museums, um, canopy tours, uh, you know, tours of the island. You can go on a glass bottom boat. You can go diving, snorkeling, parasailing. You can horseback ride, you know, right on the beach. For those who like golfing, there's a new golf course here on the island now. There's also the fishing. And fishing here is, I mean, literally, you jump in your boat, five minutes you're outside the reef, you, you know, you can start letting your lines out. Most parts of the U.S., Florida, Texas, people have to run 60 to 70 miles out from where they start to get into 1,000 or 1,500 feet of water. Here, we can get into 2,000 feet of water in five minutes. The, the biggest thing with fishing here is that you can get in the boat and you're on the fishing grounds. And I think that's why it's awesome. Also, the, the different varieties of fish you could catch. You could catch, uh, you know, wahoo, kingfish, tuna, mahi-mahi. I would say the fishing here is on par with some of the top destinations in the world. As far as variety and species that you, you can catch in the distance that you have to actually travel. That, that's something pretty unique. I personally have had it where I've caught a blue marlin here within 15 minutes of fishing. Welcome to the International Fishing Tournament of Rawton. Please give an applause to the captain and crew of the Valeria. Roatan's Fishing Tournament is the same time every year for the 15th of September, which is Honduran Independence Day. We have a huge carnival in West End Town. The fishing tournament is smack dab in the middle of the carnival, so you have children, older people, families, everybody walking the streets, all kinds of local foods, drinks, live music, and the fishing tournament right in the middle of it. It makes for a spectacular vacation. The catch and release has been a great thing. Now, by making this move to full catch and release and being members of the IGFA and the Billfish Foundation, we're now internationally known and we're working with a lot of people to conserve and preserve the species that we're enjoying so much every year. Well, it's just part of a global movement, you know, towards preserving the billfish species. It's incredible uh, how well it's worked for us. We've gone from catching you know, a couple of marlin on a tournament, they're releasing, you know, 20 odd and two days of fishing. And I think it's a direct effect of, uh, you know, enforcing the catch and release. And our friends uh, in the neighborhood and the region have also enforced it, and they've seen great results as well. The World Ten International Fishing Tournament has just moved up in the world. We're a destination for the IGFA, International Game Fishing Association. We're also members of the Billfish Foundation, which is finally started a program here where we're catching marlin, tagging them and releasing them for data later on to find out the migratory tracks. In the last few years we found that Roatan is a breeding ground, a, a nesting area for marlin especially. 
So we've been learning a lot, improving a lot, and trying to get many, many more um, experienced fishermen that have a love and a passion for the sport that we do. How do you get here? It's a lot easier getting here now than it was before. Well, getting here is actually quite easy. Um, we have Delta and United Airlines that fly weekly from the U.S. to Rotan. So getting here from the U.S. is pretty much just a two hour and a half flight. And you're here. 20 minutes and then you're to the beach from the airport. West Bay Beach geographically is one of the nicest naturally made beaches that you can find in the Caribbean. Because of its geographical position on the island, it's at the western tip of the island, which is protected from most of the wind and waves. You know, it's breathtaking because you get to party alongside the green crystal ocean. Uh, you get little shops here and there, bars everywhere, some restaurants, and people are out, they're walking around, you know, it's, and everyone's just happy to be there. Well, Roatan has a vast amount of accommodations. You can go from renting a hammock on the beach to renting a 10-bedroom home for several thousand dollars a week. We have condos, we have cabins, hotels, rental cars, transportation, taxis, buses, all of that is at your fingertips and very accessible to everybody. There's not a lot of people actually heard of Rotan. You know, we've just been become more known now in the past years due to the cruise ships coming in. You get more people actually coming here and they're seeing it and they're realizing, you know, how untouched the island is so far. I mean, you, you have people that didn't even know we existed. I would say Roatan is one of the last frontiers that you have in the Caribbean that you can find a lot of local heritage, a lot of local influence from past um, civilizations, and it gives you a very cultural feel when you go from community to community in the island and it's not just tourism. We're still a virgin island. You know, um, we haven't been discovered by, by everyone in the world. And even though the exposure every day is bigger and we're out there more and more each time, I think it's like now is the time to come in and really see what Rotan is. Because it will keep growing, but now is the time to catch it and enjoy all its nature at its best. This is the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan is a great place to live. You can check out some of the properties that are currently available for sale right here on the Roatan Travel Network Real Estate Guide. This bright and breezy modern villa in the Guayabara Beach community boasts beautiful sea views with all the modern amenities you could want. Enjoy ample indoor and outdoor living spaces to truly live the good life here in the Caribbean. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and spacious common areas make this home ideal for welcoming visitors to the island. You'll all love the outdoor amenities offered at Guayabara Beach. From your own private pool and spacious patio area to the sea pool and overwater bar at the community dock. Island luxury never looks so good. Villa del Fin is a stunning ocean view residence overlooking the north shore of Roatan. The main house includes two bedrooms with in-suites baths. The property also includes three one-bedroom apartments and a studio apartment which can be rented separately or together for larger groups. A large pool area offers guests a tranquil spot to sit back and relax, surrounded by lush jungles and ocean views. This income-generating property is turnkey furnished and perfectly located between West Bay and West End. Teal Vista is an ocean view home located in the upscale West Bay neighborhood called the Turrets of Turtle Crossing. With three bedrooms and two bathrooms, plus a spacious open plan kitchen, dining and living space, Teal Vista is an ideal island home. This house also offers fantastic rental potential. You and your guests will love the multiple decks, all with sweeping views off the south shore of Roatan, showing mainland Honduras and the Cayos Cochinos Island. Enjoy constant trade winds and convenient access to Roatan's popular West Bay Beach just down the road. 
You'll absolutely love this ocean view home in the Turtle Crossing neighborhood. A whitewashed clapboard interior and an airy loft complete the quaint cottage feel of this three-bedroom home. In addition to the large patio off the main floor, the master loft bedroom enjoys its own peaceful private patio. Regular trade winds make these outdoor living spaces perfect for lounging or for dining. Enjoy easy access to world-famous West Bay Beach just minutes down the road or relax at home in complete tranquility. Casa Serena is a stunning ocean view home located in the tranquil community of Turtling Bay. The spacious main house has five bedrooms and four baths that are spread out in an open concept design, featuring large verandas outside every bedroom. Surrounded by lush tropical gardens, the outdoor living spaces were built for entertaining. The two-level residence features a lower sun deck, it has a barbecue area with easy access to the main kitchen and is steps away from the upper infinity plunge pool. The property also features a one-bedroom guest apartment with a separate entrance. Thanks for watching the Roatan Travel Network's Real Estate Guide. We hope you discover your perfect island dream home. Hi, my name is Denise from Clearwater Adventures. Welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island.
You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The Atocha brand is legendary for its sophisticated interpretation of inspired island living. We believe that experiencing the casual comfort of the islands should be as easy as walking through your own front door. The Tommy Bahama Home Collection of distinctive furnishings evokes a sense of romance and intrigue through the fusion of eclectic design, exotic natural materials, and rich finishes. The collection offers designs across a diverse range of styles to create an environment that is uniquely yours. Located in Jackson Plaza in French Harbor, the Atocha Showroom offers you the chance to explore the range of exquisite indoor and outdoor furnishings on offer. Our experienced staff are on hand to assist you in style selections and in creating your very own island paradise. We would like to invite you to make your island life one long weekend and capture the essence of resort living with the cool and casual style of Tommy Bahama by Atocha. The Bay Islands Tourism Bureau, Canator, would like to welcome you to three of the most beautiful and unspoiled islands in the Caribbean, Roatan, Utila, and Guanaja. We're a local, membership-based organization, and our job is to make sure that your visit is everything you dreamed it would be. We do that by providing insight to the best hotels and vacation rentals, information regarding the wide range of activities and attractions available to you here, dining options, shopping, groceries, banking and ATMs, real estate, transportation on and between islands, pharmacies, medical care, and even legal services. The Bay Islands Tourism Bureau offers everything you need to make your visit to our island paradise perfect. You'll find us at the Roatan International Airport, the Mahogany Bay Cruise Ship Terminal, and online at gotoroatan.com. Bienvenido. Welcome to the Bay Islands. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. Welcome to the Bay Islands. To become a member of the Bay Islands Tourism Bureau, email us at info at gotoroatan.com. There are lots of reasons to buy property on Roatan, but if you ask the people who have done it, they'll tell you the best reason is the island's unspoiled tropical lifestyle. There's diving, snorkeling, sailing. Here you'll discover pristine white sand beaches. There's golf, boating, jungle adventures, animal parks, amazing places to eat, and just about every kind of water activity under the sun. If this is the kind of lifestyle you've been searching for, then you need to contact Steve Haas at Roatan Life Real Estate. Well, Roatan's a great place to live for a lot of different reasons. I've been here for most of the last 25 years, but I think the real reason Roatan is so great is because of the people who live here. Roatan Life was founded on the principles of enthusiasm, integrity, hard work, market knowledge, and a commitment to provide the most professional real estate services on the island. We've been on the island for decades and we're glad to be there for you. The relationship doesn't stop when the sale ends. Roatan Life's listings include an assortment of properties that conform to any budget. And while Roatan remains relatively undiscovered, Things are growing. We now have incredible supermarkets, state-of-the-art medical facilities, and real estate on the island is booming because prices remain relatively low. Roatan is the least expensive Caribbean island. It's still a buyer's market even though our inventory is dropping and we've seen quite a surge in sales. Stop fantasizing about living on a tropical island and do it. Take the first step now towards making your dreams a reality and reach out to Steve Haas at Roatan Life Real Estate. My name is Steve Haas and I look forward to hearing from you. You'll be amazed how easy it is to have the wonders of Roatan in your backyard. Banana Donut, welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Each year, the world's leading freediving competitors travel to the pristine waters of the Western Caribbean to participate in one of the sport's premier events, the Caribbean Cup Roatan Freediving Competition.
My name is William Trubridge and I'm the world record holder in unassisted freediving and world champion freediving. Freediving is the ancient practice of holding your breath for extended periods of time while swimming underwater. Divers have been doing it since the time of Plato. Freediving allows you to experience the underwater world on its own terms. You're free to move and three dimensions go up and down um, and move quickly and agilely. Your bubbles don't scare away the fish. And also you feel like you're becoming an aquatic creature yourself. You feel more integrated into the underwater world. That's the foundation for my passion for the sport. Since its beginning in 2013, the Caribbean Cup Roatan Free Diving Competition has become one of the most important free diving events in the world. My name is Esteban Darampe and I am the organizer of the Caribbean Cup Roatan Free Diving Competition. The first year it was very hard because uh, when I start to promote the free diving and nobody knows what it is, first I have to explain them what is free diving and then uh, who cares about it. Right? <laughs> Welcome to the third edition of the Caribbean Cup 2015. Of all the islands in all the world, Roatan is uniquely suited for free diving. Roatan is a unique island in the Caribbean in that it has a, one side of the island with very sheer drop-offs to great depth. And the trade winds come from the other side, meaning that, that that deep side is very calm and very clear waters with very little current. So it's, it's ideal for freediving, but it also has a lot of other different attractions um, that appeal to freedivers. Um, you can go shark diving, swimming with dolphins, with turtles. It has a very well-managed marine park. That means that the coral reef systems are very well populated and the snorkeling here is amongst the best in the world. Each day, participants in the Caribbean Cup free diving competition are ferried out to a floating platform, which is anchored in 800 feet of water just off Roatan's West Bay Beach. Each dive can last as long as four minutes, and conserving oxygen is critical. In the beginning of the descent, you're working to overcome your body's buoyancy. So your lungs are completely full, and you have to swim hard to get down off the surface. But as you descend, your lungs compress, and that means your body loses buoyancy, so it becomes easier and easier to descend. To the point where at around 15 meters, um, you surpass neutral buoyancy and become negative, which means that you, you sink even if you don't do anything. And at 25 meters, I'd stop swimming, and the rest of the descent is completely in what we call the free fall, just motionless um, and allowing your gravity to pull you uh, to the maximum depth. At the designated depth, the light is dim, and divers must find a plastic tag which they retrieve and return to the surface. Here we're at the maximum negative buoyancy, so your body is very heavy, and you need to work very hard to reclaim the surface. In fact, the ascent is a lot more difficult than the, the descent, because almost all the way up, you're working to overcome your negative buoyancy. Uh, it's not until the last few meters that you, your lungs re-expand to the original volume and you can drift those last few minutes to the surface. The Caribbean Cup Roatan Free Diving Competition is many things to many people. For the divers, it's a chance to push their limits. For the fans that come to watch, it's an opportunity to hang out on one of the Caribbean's most beautiful beaches and meet freedivers from all over the world. For everyone, it's eight days of fun, and you're invited to join the festivities next year. There are plenty of great inexpensive hotels, and Roatan is just a two and a half hour flight from Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, and Miami. Come see for yourself what all the excitement is about. I love freediving because I can be a true explorer, not only exploring the depths, is exploring myself and connecting the natural environment with me. And it's a beautiful sport, it's a beautiful activity, and it's very safe. And then freediving motivates you to be more healthy person, so to do yoga, improve your breathing techniques. And this is good not only for freediving, this is nice for everybody. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island.
tucked away on the Western Caribbean island of Roatan is a legendary tropical wonderland with pristine beaches and sparkling turquoise waters. Our name is Anthony Ski Resort. It's very tranquil. It's just like we found it 45 years ago. Here, wooden bungalows perch above a tranquil lagoon, offer a sense of peaceful disconnection from everyday life. Oh, it's very peaceful. And it feels really intimate. I actually wish we could sleep out here. <laughs> I, I wish we could live here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time I've come back over the past uh, seven years, I've seen familiar faces. I mean, I got hugs at the airport. They just really make you feel like family. For over 45 years, this family-run paradise has been home to travelers in search of unspoiled waters and natural adventure in all its forms. We have no TVs in our room and we have no phone. We do have the Wi-Fi because obviously you can't live without it. It's nice to be connected, but man, I do not miss the television. We literally have probably 75-80% of repeat guests who's been coming here from two years to 35 years. And one of the things they do like is the tranquility of no TV. When we come here, my wife talked to me more. You know, I have more attention from my husband. So it is peaceful. One of the big things that Rattan have is probably one of the only islands where we can guarantee diving 365 days a year. Why? Because if it gets rough on this side, we could take people on the other side. This is our first trip here, but it certainly won't be our last. We saw uh, crabs, we saw moray, we saw turtles. The coral is beautiful down coral there. Coral stunning. I can't think of a dive destination anywhere in the world uh, that has the amount of equipment that we have. I like the boats. Uh, I mean, they're well equipped, clean, nice. Looks like they got good platforms. We're a five-star operation, and we go anyway from uh, a basic diver to an instructor. We're probably the only operation that I can think of that have an assigned snorkel boat. Safety is very, very important. Our doctor has been to hyperbaric medicine classes in Spain, so we take care of people here and we do it, you know, in a very professional way. The diving is literally within sight of your front door out over the, over the water there on the key. I'll be diving here as, uh, as long as I can dive. Anthony's Key has been at the forefront of the human dolphin experience for decades. A Rotan Institute for Marine Sciences is dedicated to bringing you as close as possible to these amazing mammals in their natural open water habitat. Well, our family scuba dives and we typically try to find an island where our youngest daughter who can't dive yet can go to camps. That was amazing. It's a wonderful experience for the kids. I like the training and actually getting in the water with the dolphins. All of our programs are based in education, but obviously in order to educate people, you need to entertain them as well. My favorite part was uh, feeding the dolphins. We have trainer for a day, and then we can even do a week-long program for people that really want to get in there and try their hand at training. Oh, it's been fantastic uh, in every dimension. And this is one of the few places in the world you can do this. And then there's the dive that we do, which is about 45 minutes out in the open ocean. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Our open water program is one of the things we're most proud of. When the dolphin comes by, you really look at it. You really get a feeling he's checking you out. Oh, that's pretty spectacular. They nudge you for attention when they want it. All these programs are very unique in the fact that the dolphins are allowed to be themselves and we become just part of the scenery and are lucky enough to witness it. That's their domain and you get to be in it for a little while and that's, that's pretty cool. Everybody loves dolphins. Yes, they do. Everybody. Whether diving through a coral garden or getting a massage in our jungle spa, Anthony's Key Resort is an all-inclusive island retreat.
Or you can do as little as you like or as much as you want. How the Caribbean used to be to what it is today is a big difference. And Anthony's Key hasn't changed a minute, you know, from the day it was started. Anthony's Key Resort, a Caribbean tradition since 1968. It's not just a vacation, it's an experience. I put my entire heart and soul in the resort. I love this place. Hopefully, you know, it'll never change. I hope, you know, you can go anywhere and stay in a high rise. It's pretty hard to find too many of these places anymore. Anthony Ski Resort in the Bay Islands of the Western Caribbean. Hi, I'm Joni Flanagan with Roatan Vacation Rentals. Welcome to the island. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan is sheltered by the second largest living coral reef in the world. It's called the Mesoamerica Reef System. Here on the island, protection of this international treasure is entrusted to the Roatan Marine Park. The Mesoamerican Reef System starts from Quintana Roo in Mexico, and it comes all the way down past Belize, past the little nook of Guatemala, and onto the northern coast of Honduras. It's the second largest barrier reef in the world. The reef covers more than 1,000 kilometers of coastline and is home to endangered marine turtles, more than 500 fish species, and over 60 different types of coral. Every single square inch of that reef has something going on. Everything there is alive, not just little creatures like crabs and shrimp and lobster, but that piece of coral is a living organism that breeds and, and multiplies every year. Coral is both an animal and a plant. It has a stomach, it has a mouth, it has polyps that create a colony. Inside those polyps, there live microalgae called zooxanthella, and they work just like a plant. They go through photosynthesis, they create sugar, and they actually provide coral with 80% of its uh, nutrients. And that's the color that you see in coral. So when you see just this colorful rock, this colorful rock is not only an animal, but it's also a plant. It's the most amazing organism that's in the ocean. Thousands of tourists visit Roratan each year, drawn by the opportunity to dive and snorkel on one of the most amazing reefs in the world. Unfortunately, these activities threaten the very resources upon which they depend, particularly coral. If you look at something and you think, oh, well, there's nothing growing there. If you look closer, there's something growing everywhere out there. It's extraordinary, you know, and you get snorkelers that go out there and they stand because they need to adjust their mask. And when you shout at them and say, get off the coral, they say, oh, no, there's nothing here. It's just rocks. But it isn't. Everything out there is covered in life. It's amazing. From enormous whale sharks to tiny seahorses, the Mesoamerica reef system is home to a stunning variety of marine life. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of fish. The clouds of blue tang that we get that are so wonderful, that all feed at the same time. So you see them coming across the reef and it seems like they communicate with each other and suddenly all dive down and feed and then set off again all as one group. I mean, they're amazing. I think eagle rays are, are definitely my favorites. They're fantastic. They're just such magnificent animals, they're so beautiful and they're so serene. They're just passing along peacefully over the wall. I always feel lucky to see them. We have a very healthy population of turtles, which is, um, you know, in danger, but they seem to be making a comeback here. We're not known for our big things, so you're not going to see big sharks or mantas, but you, you are going to see lots of little things, lots of nudibranchs, uh, different types of coral, you'll see all the sponges, bluebell tunicates, things that you, you need to have an eye and you need to go slow to see. If you go quickly, you'll miss most of our beauty on the reef. The dedicated men and women of the Roratan Marine Park work hard to protect this fragile island's most precious natural resource. It's a big job and one they take very seriously. The Rotan Marine Park came about after people like me who've been out here for over 30 years saw it when it was really good and saw it as it started to be depleted. 
Now we have grown, you know, it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty strong. And uh, more and more members is coming on, more and more of the diving communities is backing us. The Marine Park is responsible for all the marine infrastructure in the marine protected area. So the mooring lines, the channel markers, things that keep people safe going in and out of the reef day and night. I think we're gaining ground. I think education is key to a lot of what we've got to get done here. We've got to educate people and, and people are starting to pay attention. We're starting to get people ears. And, and we're finding more and more volunteers, local people who steps up and say, yeah, let's do this. And uh, I think 10 years from now, we will be in a better place uh, because more people will be realizing that uh, we can all reduce our carbon footprint. If you're enjoying your visit to Roatan, then please do your part to help protect our extraordinary reef. Stop by the Marine Park office in West End to pick up a few souvenirs for your friends back home. And don't go in the water without first buying a Marine Park bracelet. The bracelets are very important income for the Marine Park and without them I think the Marine Park would probably have to close. So it would be lovely if every tourist that came here, even if they aren't divers, even if they're just snorkelers, could buy a $10 bracelet, it would really help out with, with protecting what we can for The Marine Park works as an NGO. We work mostly with our user fees and that money goes directly into our programs. So that's the, that's the financial way you can help. The environmentally friendly way you can help is just be smart. Don't touch the reef when you go diving. Don't stand on the reef when you're going snorkeling. If you see anything that's really pretty, take a picture and don't take it home. Just be smart when you're out there. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roratan has lots of great places to eat. You can see some of our favorites right here on the Roratan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. Romeo Silvestri loves good food and sharing it with his friends. So back in 1978, he opened Romeo's Restaurant in French Harbor. The building has changed a bit, but his delicious blend of Italian Caribbean cuisine remains a one-of-a-kind dining tradition here on Roatan. The menu features local seafood, imported beef, mouth-watering pastas, and the freshest brick oven pizza you'll ever eat. They're open for lunch and dinner, and there's plenty of free parking. Find them on Facebook or call 9967-0380. Romeo's Restaurant, three generations of chefs on the water in French Harbor since 1978. Bamboo is Roatan's newest destination dining spot. Chef Ben has been preparing meals for the island's best restaurants for years and now he's opened his own place. Each plate passes through his hands and the fusion menu is an eclectic mix of Asian and Caribbean favorites. Bang Bang Sweet Thai Chili Chicken Wings, Mongolian Grilled Flank Steak, Pineapple Rum Glazed Sticky Baby Back Ribs, and a delicious assortment of signature sushi rolls. The air-conditioned dining room has a full bar and credit cards are happily accepted. You'll find Bamboo in Sandy Bay at Coral Stone Plaza. Keep calm and sake bomb at Bamboo. Tucked away on West Bay Beach is the Vintage Pearl, Roatan's favorite upscale, intimate dining experience. The menu changes daily and features the finest in local seafood and imported meats. Their wine list is simply the best on the island. There's music, appetizers, and a tantalizing assortment of martinis. So whether you live here or you're on vacation, be sure and visit the Vintage Pearl. It's the perfect spot for a delicious Sunday brunch or a spur of the moment night out. You'll find the Vintage Pearl on West Bay Beach, adjacent to the Bananarama Dive Resort. The Sunken Fish is Roatan's coolest oceanfront restaurant and bar. One visit and you'll agree that Chef Indira's mouth-watering island fusion cuisine is a culinary adventure. Her locally sourced ingredients are combined to create an international blend of island and international favorites. Stop by for lunch and enjoy the magnificent view. Drop in for dinner and savor the stunning sunsets, island cocktails, impeccable service and outstanding specialties. And be sure to save room for dessert. The Sunken Fish Restaurant and Bar is minutes away from West End at the Tranquil Seas Resort in Sandy Bay. The Sunken Fish Restaurant and Bar, making relaxing easier.
La La Gallery and Garden Cafe is the most unique dining and retail experience on Roatan. From the restaurant to the gallery and boutique, everything in this quiet, cool oasis is special, including the food. La La's menu is a fusion of ethnic flavors from the Mediterranean, Southeast Asia, the Caribbean, and Middle East, with plenty of delicious vegetarian and vegan options. Every dish is prepared from scratch using the freshest local ingredients. Escape the crowds, feed your body, feast your eyes, and nourish your soul at La La Gallery and Garden Cafe. They're located on the main road in the heart of West Bay, just a short walk from the beach and open for lunch and dinner. Check out Facebook and TripAdvisor to see why everyone is raving about La La Gallery and Garden Cafe, a feast for all your senses. Thanks for watching the Broatan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. Buen Appetito! Las Verandas Hotel and Villas is one of the most luxurious resorts on the island. It's as nice as anywhere we've ever been. Well, I think it's kind of untouched. It's very raw. Grounds are beautiful. You have all these amenities. It's two hours from Houston. The water, the pool, the sound of the ocean. Of course, the beach is beautiful. We're having a great time. We really enjoy the food, the lobster and shrimp. We now have both restaurants open, plenty of variety. And this is our third trip down, so we obviously haven't tired of any of that. When guests arrive at Las Verandas Hotel and Villas, they will either be staying in one of our luxury hotel rooms or a private villa, which range from two to five bedrooms. This is the second time that we've stayed here. And it's just beautiful. The other morning there was a rainbow out over the ocean. It's gorgeous. The villas are beautifully appointed. I have a design background in Houston, so I kind of know what, what stuff should be like, and they did a beautiful job. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas is located inside Pristine Bay, which is a luxury gated community with the only golf course on the island. They call it where you mix the best greens with the best blues. I mean, having the golf course offers a completely different dimension than just a beach place. It's a good course. It's a Pete Dye design short course played 15 holes this morning. I've got three kids, my wife and I, and we all have something we like about it. Obviously, it's a great diving spot. The dive master does everything. My gear magically appears on the boat. There we are, one of the best reefs in the world. It's just nice and peaceful and serene. I love it here. It's so amazing and beautiful. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas caters to the most discerning guests looking for luxury and quality service. close to nature. It is absolutely paradise. On the aquamarine waters of the Caribbean Sea. I knew they would have white sand and it would be really exotic and it's beautiful. At the heart of Maya Key is an interactive wildlife rescue center. Okay guys, like you know, all the animals here on Maya Key, they're all rescue animals. With exotic animals from both land and sea. When we saw that they had the refuge, it, it, Literally, that was the reason that we booked the cruise we booked. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I love monkeys, so Very probably good. top three best moments of my life. We're thinking we need more monkey time. More monkey time. <laughs> Come, enjoy Maya Key's jungle swimming pool. Two private beaches and a coral reef snorkel garden. It was awesome. Yeah, We've never was... even snorkeled before, but it was amazing. Unbelievable. It was like going to an aquarium, but being in the aquarium. It was like being <laughs> in an aquarium. Yeah, it was awesome. Maya Key. You never know if what you read is what you get, but this particular one actually exceeded our expectations. All right, guys, lunch is ready. Come and get it while it's hot. The food is great. The fish is so good. 
It was an unbelievable experience, it's something that we've been looking forward to for a year. Visit us now. You'll be glad you did. Hello, this is Derek and Jessica, and we are from Midlothian, Texas. Welcome to Roatan. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hi guys, welcome to Top Sites Roatan. I'm Ari from Roatan Divers, and today we'll be taking you to the Aguila Wreck. The Aguila Wreck is located outside of Sandy Bay on the northwest coast of Roatan. It was sunk as an artificial reef in 1997 and broke into three parts in 1998 when Hurricane Mitch hit. That's the wreck that we see today. This wreck is perfect for wreck novices and advanced divers alike because it generally has good visibility and is located next to a reef which means lots of sea life. Alright guys, let's go diving! While the Aguila is a dive attraction in and of itself, part of its appeal comes from the wildlife that lives on and around the wreck. Don't forget to check out the sand next to the wreck where you can see fields of garden eels feeding in the current and blue tangs and goatfish sifting through the sand for their next meal. Aguila is also famous for the giant black groupers that have made this area their home. The groupers are definitely not shy. The top of the Aguila's bow is at 80 feet, making it the perfect midway point to your dive. The Aguila is also home to big green mores. The Aguila's Mast is also home to a variety of macro critters like yellow line arrow crabs, fireworms, cleaner shrimp, and Christmas tree worms. After spending some time on the wreck, it's time to head to the reef. Guess who followed us over here? Look at 
Looks like it's not just the moray eel that followed us to the reef. The reef next to the Aguila is beautiful, teeming with soft coral and impressive schools of fish. The reef comes up very shallow so you can see amazing things even on your safety stop. What a way to end a dive. I hope you guys enjoyed the wreck. I'm Ari from Roton Divers and we'll see you next time on Topsides Roton. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The Roatan Travel Network is made possible in part by the cooperation of our friends at Max Communications, Roatan's oldest and fastest growing cable company. Max Communications was the first to bring fiber optic cable to Roatan and they continue to introduce innovative communication services which include digital television, internet, telephone, and data transmission. By utilizing the highest quality standards and latest technology, their team of skilled employees is committed to customer service and to keeping Roatan competitive in today's globalized world. Call or stop by the Max Communications office at the Mega Plaza in French Harbor. They also have offices in Coxon Hole and West End and let them show you how they can bring the rest of the world to your front door. Max Communications, serving Roatan since 1989. As a promoter of arts, culture, and community, Waves of Art Gifts and Gallery offers an eclectic selection of gifts and artwork, offering locals and visitors an opportunity to find that special gift, support local artists, and experience a taste of island culture. Open Monday to Saturday and located in West End Village, Waves of Art features a variety of folk art that supports fair trade organizations, eco-sustainable products, and local artisan co-ops. The store is also renowned for its unique t-shirt designs, Mayan silver jewelry, and Lenkin handicrafts. The upstairs art gallery features limited edition Giclée prints, photographs, and original paintings from local artists, including Virgie. These amazing works of art bring the tropical colors of Roatan to life and are the ideal gift for your home or that special someone. No matter what you're looking for, Waves of Art's variety of gifts, artwork, and personalized customer service make it the perfect island shopping destination. Come visit us and take some island culture home with you. Roatan Scuba Mare Store is the biggest and best stocked retail dive equipment shop on the island. We've been here since 2005 and offer an amazing selection of regulators and tanks, computers and instruments, BCDs, wetsuits, fins, masks, snorkels, and lots of accessories. Roatan Scuba Mare Store also provides services such as DOT certified hydro testing, compressed air and nitrox fills, compressor sales, equipment maintenance, and an SSI Scuba School International Service Center. We also feature a full line of Maris and Coultry spare parts. With more than 650 square feet of showroom, the Roatan Scuba Mare Shop is one of the best stock supply operations in Central America. So come on by and say hello to Tiffany, Robert, Guillermo, Andy, or Sergio. Roatan Scuba Mare Shop is located just off the roundabout at the entrance to West End. Credit cards are happily accepted. Connect with us on Facebook and WhatsApp or visit our website, scubamares.com. Roatan Scuba Mare Shop, for all your diving needs. Roatan is a great place to live. 
you can check out some of the properties that are currently available for sale right here on the Roatan Travel Network Real Estate Guide. This stunning beachfront studio condo enjoys the extensive amenities of the exclusive Parrot Tree Plantation. Being offered completely turnkey and fully furnished, including on-site property management for rentals, this unit is a perfect investment opportunity. Parrot Tree Plantation is a gated community offering a beautiful beach lagoon, enormous community pool, marina, and an on-site restaurant and bar on the beach. A wonderful vacation rental option, this unit can also be your vacation in paradise whenever you hear the sirens call. On a quiet cul-de-sac just minutes from one of the best beaches in the world, you'll find a breathtaking home called Coastal View. This stunning hilltop home offers a separate one-bedroom apartment on the ground floor with a two-bedroom home on the upper two levels. You'll love facing Roatan's south shore and feeling our famously cooling trade winds all year long. Bask in nature's beauty in the welcoming outdoor living spaces at Coastal View. Perfect for a retirement home or for a vacation home with income-producing potential. You can't miss out on this West Bay wonder. If living on a Caribbean island sounds like a dream come true, just imagine living on a world-class champion golf course with hues of green leading straight out to those Caribbean blues. This is Pristine Bay. From this two-bedroom deluxe villa, you can hit the links or the beach any day of the week or enjoy your private pool and top-of-the-line amenities right at home. This villa is also a successful rental property, giving you the option of retiring to paradise or enjoying your hard-earned vacation time with an income option the rest of the year. Want a little bit of everything for your island dream home? Come to Parrotfish 106 in the prestigious Lawson Rock Beach Club community. This spacious three-bedroom condo rests right on the beach and boasts its own private pool as well, offering an open-plan interior with high-end finishes throughout. This condo provides island luxury with all the benefits and amenities of a well-established community. Whether you're looking for your own dream home or a solid investment opportunity, Parrotfish 106 has it all. Living on the golf course sure has its perks. Wake up to Caribbean sea views and a beautiful hillside breeze, then hop into your golf cart to hit the greens while keeping those ocean blues in sight. From Pristine Bay Villa 1303, your life can actually be this easy and fun. White sand beaches, multiple dining options, and a large clubhouse plus community pools offer even more options for your daily activities. Enjoy the good life in Roatan's Pristine Bay Golf Resort and Community. Thanks for watching the Roatan Travel Network's Real Estate Guide. We hope you discover your perfect island dream home. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Ay negrita linda, estoy atrapado Y si me das un beso yo nunca quiero ser liberado Y es que son tus ojos los que me han embrucado Y no quiero cura que te querer, estoy enamorado Que todo en la vida 
bailaremos juntos aquí que vas a hacer comienzo Que nunca tendrá fin, que quiero ser el agua que rega siempre tu jardín Y así para siempre de mi mano llevar la mujer más hermosa del sistema solar Sos mi galaxia, mi espacio sideral, sos mi universo, mi principio y mi final Y no lo puedo You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan has lots of great places to eat. You can see some of our favorites right here on the Roatan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. If you're looking for a place to have a personalized romantic dining experience, then look no further than the Iron Shore Bar and Grill at the Grand Roatan Resort in West Bay. This is not just a dinner, it's an experience. Chef Ramon uses local ingredients to create a delicious, family-friendly menu with a Caribbean flavor. If you have a taste for something special, he's happy to create a custom dinner to your specifications. The Iron Shore's amazing beachfront location makes it the perfect place for sunset cocktails at happy hour, and credit cards are happily accepted. Indulge yourself at the Iron Shore Bar and Grill at the Grand Roatan Resort in West Bay. Beecher's Bar and Grill is the place to be for casual dining, drinks, and fun in the sun. The atmosphere is laid back and their affordable menu features an assortment of island specialties and North American favorites. With locations in West End and West Bay, you're only minutes from the friendliest place on the island and both locations are open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. You'll find them over the water in West End and right on the sand in world famous West Bay. They're locally owned and operated and the most authentic bar and grill on the island. Come on over, hang out and experience Roatan the way it was meant to be enjoyed at Beecher's Bar and Grill. The Lotus at Exablanca Resort offers fine cuisine in a relaxed open dining area, under the tree by the sea or under the stars on the roof. The menu focuses on flavors using organic produce, fresh catch from the sea and fine meat selections. The Buddha Bar is open to serve you delicious cocktails and fine wines. The Lotus is open by reservation and eager to prepare a special dining experience for you. To open the doors at the Lotus, visit us online at exablancaresort at gmail.com or phone 9469-6300. The Lotus at Exablanca. Locals and visitors alike all agree that Gula Gastro Bar and Winery is the most sophisticated Italian dining spot on Roratan. Here you'll discover a beachfront oasis of service, style and serenity with a view that will take your breath away. The menu is authentic Mediterranean and each dish is prepared with passion from scratch. If you love wine, this is the place to be because there's not a better stocked wine cellar on the entire island. 
Kula Gastro Bar and Winery is located in the Henry Morgan Hotel and Beach Resort in West Bay. Make Kula your next night out. Kula Gastro Bar and Winery. Sunsets never tasted better. The Breakfast House is fast becoming French Harbor's favorite place to enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The atmosphere is laid back and the food is second to none. Their menu is affordably priced and features homemade island dishes, traditional North American favorites, and an international selection of breakfasts that are served all day long. The Breakfast House is located in the Mega Plaza in French Harbor and is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Find us on Facebook and Instagram or call 2480-5291. The Breakfast House. If you really, really love pizza, then you need to check out Papa Bone's Brick Oven Pizza and Wings in Sandy Bay. This is no ordinary pizza. We're talking about smoked pulled pork pizza, or perhaps a creamy chicken Alfredo pizza, and of course, the classic pepperoni pizza. If wings are your thing, Papa Bone's has the best wings on the island. Papa Bone's is open Thursday through Sunday from 4 until 10 p.m. Happy hour is every day until 6 with great drink specials and awesome appetizers. Papa Bone's is just minutes from West End on the main road next to Tranquil Seas. Find them on Facebook. Thanks for watching the Rotan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. Buen Appetito. Tranquility Spa is a sanctuary of renewal, peace, and harmony. And it's the only luxury spa on Roatan. The facility features four private air-conditioned suites staffed by professionally trained massage therapists who offer individuals and couples Swedish, deep tissue, or hot stone massages. Perhaps you'd prefer a refreshing aloe and lavender body wrap or coffee with honey sugar scrub. Tranquility Spa also features a dedicated hair, manicure, and pedicure area featuring OPI and Vinyl Lux products. You'll find aromatherapy, holistic services, and ultra-hydrating facial treatments. Tranquility Spa is also home to the island's only American licensed chiropractor, Dr. Mary Mason. Tranquility Spa is open seven days a week and located at the Infinity Bay Spa and Beach Resort in West Bay. To make an appointment, visit our website, tranquillitysparoatan.com, or phone 9996-3700. Tranquility Spa, because you're worth it. Little French Key has been voted the number one attraction in all of Honduras. Best place I've ever been in my life. Absolutely amazing. Once a private island retreat, Little French Key is now available for everyone to enjoy. This is a beautiful, beautiful spot. Play in crystal clear water, sunbathe on diamond white beaches, enjoy an ice cold cocktail at the swim up bar, or savor a delicious assortment of island delights in one of our three open air restaurants. We love it. We just want to stay here forever. There's horseback riding, snorkeling, jet skis, kayaks, massage treatments, and the most extraordinary interactive wildlife rescue center in Central America. Monkeys were awesome. Tigers, yeah. Kids had a ball. You can even spend the night in Little French Keys Luxury Beach House or Honeymoon Suites. I would like to live here. And don't miss Little French Key West, a Mayan nature center and underwater museum. The water is beautiful. You can see everything. Come for a day or come for a week. Be sure and ask about our discount rates for local residents. Either way, you'll never forget Little French Key, a private island retreat unlike any other in the Caribbean. For the ultimate Roatan dive experience, you need to visit Black Pearl Divers. We're a full-service PADI and SSI accredited dive center conveniently located at Las Palmas, just five minutes east of the airport. Black Pearl Divers has been exploring Roatan for years, and we're the experts on the island's secluded central reefs, offering numerous dive and snorkeling sites just minutes from our private docks. Our boats are in top condition, and we do everything from storing your equipment to carrying your gear and setting it up. Want to try a bit of fishing? We're a highly experienced fishing outfitter as well. Find out for yourself why Roatan is a water wonderland with our friendly crew of experienced captains and dive professionals. We pledge to welcome you with a smile and treat you like a friend. Black Pearl Divers is the ultimate dive shop on Roatan. Visit us at Las Palmas or check us out at blackpearldivers.com for more information. We'll save a seat for you. Black Pearl Divers! Hi, this is Ivy Shop. Welcome to Roatan. 
You're watching the Roids and Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Hi guys, welcome to Top Sites Roatan. I'm Ari from Roatan Divers and today I'll be introducing you to the amazing macro critters that Roatan has to offer. While Roatan may be famous for its amazing walls and abundance of sea life, we also have a large variety of macro life. Some of our favorite macro sites are Willie's Wonder, Butcher's Bank, and Lighthouse Reef. If you're going macro hunting, it's important to have good buoyancy so you don't disturb the critters in the sand. All right guys, let's go diving. A lot of people only focus on big things when they dive, but if you take the time to look, you'll find all sorts of interesting sea life in the sand. Check out this little pipefish. Little coral heads in the sand are the perfect place to search for macro critters. Although they don't count as macro, peacock flounders blend so well into their environment that it's hard to spot them unless they move. Take a look through the manatee grass to see if you can find the elusive pipe horse. Macrolife is hiding all around the reef too. Although they are a rare sight, sometimes we get lucky and find seahorses hiding in black coral. Keep an eye out for net crabs as well. In mid to the late summer, see if you can find juvenile trunkfish, also known as peas. I 
I hope you enjoyed our macro exploration today. Once again, I'm Ari from Roatan Divers, and we'll see you next time on Top Sites Roatan. This is the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan Vacation Rentals is the Bay Island's premier full-service home rental agency, offering both vacation and seasonal residences. From luxurious beachfront villas to ocean view condos, we're here to make sure that your visit to Roatan is the vacation of a lifetime. Our amazing selection of properties are located throughout the island and fit any budget and preference. Roatan Vacation Rentals is there when you arrive. We'll help you get settled and answer any questions. We're also available throughout your stay to arrange activities and ensure that your vacation is everything you hoped it would be. If you already own a home on the island and would like to rent it out, Roatan Vacation Rentals is the island's most experienced property management company. We'll market your residence, welcome the guests, handle all the housekeeping and maintenance, pay your taxes, and keep track of the income. For reservations and more information, visit our website, RoatanVacationRentals.com, or stop by our office at the Lawson Rock Beach Club in Sandy Bay. Roatan Vacation Rentals, let us share our passion for Roatan with you.
relaxation, culture, indulgence. You can experience it all at Mayan Princess. I could stay here forever. Mayan Princess is an all-inclusive beach and dive resort immersed in the natural wonders of one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean. The island is absolutely beautiful. The sand and the, the water is gorgeous. Mayan Princess's premium suites and villas feature pillow top mattresses, fine linens, plush duvets, rotating flat screen TVs, comfortable and stylish living rooms, with free wireless internet access and more. It's got a full kitchen, it's, sure. it's beautiful, it's right, in the, right on the beachfront too, so I can live in one of these places. Dining at Mayan Princess is unlike any other resort on Roatan. You can choose from a variety of all-inclusive specialty restaurants. Each has a unique ambiance and serves unlimited domestic and international premium brand liquors, beers, and wines. The dining has been great and the drinks have been fantastic. The San Simone Beach Club is a destination all its own, where visitors and locals alike can unwind in an atmosphere of relaxed elegance. It's like a dream. All this is like a dream. By day, you'll find canopied shade beds and lounge chairs. Yeah, paradise for sure. Paradise on steroids. At night, it's a wonderful spot for a romantic cocktail or a spectacular sunset dinner on the beach. Love it. The innovative menu is upscale and features custom delights like martini caprese, lobster burgers, and San Simone beef carpaccio, along with exquisitely prepared island treats and international favorites. Definitely come back. Mayan Princess also features traditional one and two bedroom hotel rooms at Las Serenas. No detail has been overlooked and the facility is designed to accommodate families of every size. It's very calming and peaceful, perfect. Mayan Divers, our five-star patty dive shop, will help you discover the wonders of the largest barrier reef system in the Northern Hemisphere. Mayan Princess is also a great place to get married. So awesome, never been to Honduras before and this has been such an awesome experience for us. Mayan Princess is located in the heart of West Bay Beach. For details and reservations, visit our website, mayanprincess.com. It's absolutely beautiful here. It's beautiful. I would definitely come back again. All of us guys that are 60 years old, the 100,000 mile warranty's up, okay? Before coming to Garm Clinic, I was in pain for three solid years. Garm stands for Global Alliance for Regenerative Medicine. The concept is to use stem cell treatments and biocellular components, and then the best parts of traditional medicine to allow the body to utilize its own natural resources to heal and to create a regenerative capability. Regenerative medicine is the ability to regenerate tissues. So rather than replacing or medicating, why not use your own body to do what it naturally does? I am going to need knee replacements, okay? But if I can turn around and, and eliminate the pain and by using stem cell, I'm going to try that first. I think that nature itself has created uh, what we call the normal pathway to healing. My mom came here because we'd run out of treatment options for her and she instantly started seeing results. We've treated arthritis, we've treated chronic uh, pain, uh, we have protocols for diabetes treatment, for chronic neurologic disease, we have uh, hematology capabilities, oncology capabilities. Our goal is to serve the community of Roatan with the highest standard medical care available. I don't know any other place that has some of the top minds in medicine in the world contributing to its treatment protocols for patients. This is the dream team of physicians. I've had two treatments there. I had no complications or anything. Everything they told me that what was going to happen, happened. I would recommend it to anybody. My mom's visit to Garm changed her life. It is very important when you're dealing with chronic disease that the patient has an environment that is regenerative, where they can recuperate and focus actually on themselves and getting better. The clinic is beautiful, the staff is friendly and helpful. We loved our doctors there and we had a great experience. 
and what I found at the Garm Clinic was it was the best doctor appointment I ever had. <laughs> it was like a medical vacation. The goal of the Garm Clinic is to improve a patient's quality of life by reducing or eliminating the signs and symptoms of the chronic disease from which that patient may suffer. I walked out of there with no pain. I uh, have not heard of anybody that didn't have positive results. When they leave the Garm Clinic, we want them to know that we are doing all that we can to help. Everyone here was just so nice and it just made us feel like family. My mom really got her life back. To find out more about GARM, you can visit the website. It's www.garm.com.hn or friend us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Larry McLaughlin from Larry and Louis. Welcome, Welcome to Roatan! You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. The island of Roatan is approximately 32 miles long and a little over 2 miles wide. On a map, it looks a bit like an alligator and it's divided into two separate municipalities, Santos Huadiola in the east and Roatan Municipal in the west, which is where most visitors spend their time enjoying the island's resorts, restaurants, dive operations, adventure parks and nightlife. However, to really discover the treasures that are stashed away on this beautiful little island, you have to step off the beaten path a bit, take the road less travelled and pay a visit to the east end of Roatan. And since the island only has one main road, it's not that hard to find. Come see for yourself Roatan's eastern treasures. Roatan's Eastern Treasures is sponsored by Oasis Water. Pure. Refreshing. Island water. Oasis Water is pure water. Filtered six times with the latest reverse osmosis purification technology. Oasis Water is the natural way to hydrate. Energize. Will look great and feel even better. Oasis Water. Pure, refreshing, island water. Ask for it in your local market. Oasis Water. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan's East End is an island living the way it used to be. The region is sparsely populated and features lush forests, cattle ranches, fishing villages and some of the island's most interesting and off-the-beaten-path resorts and restaurants. The journey begins just outside the town of French Harbour when you pass through a quaint ramshackle village which represents the gateway to the East End. A well-maintained mountaintop road meanders some 15 miles across the central spine of the island and offers stunning views of both the northern and southern coasts of Roatan. Along the way, you'll spot signs pointing the way to picturesque hamlets like the expat community of Politili Bight and Jonesville, a small fishing village which was established way back in the 1800s. Oak Ridge is the largest settlement you'll find out here, and once you arrive, you're in the heart of the East End. This is as authentic as it gets. Here, many of the locals live in traditional houses that are built on stilts over the water. Folks still prefer to get around by boat, and one of the most popular tourist attractions is a ride in a wooden dory through the tunnels and canals of the island's environmentally protected mangrove forest. Oak Ridge's amazing natural harbour is home to what remains of the East End's shrimp and lobster fishing fleet. 
while you're there, be sure to stop by BJ's for a cold drink and a chat with one of the island's most interesting residents, BJ Ebanks, who's lived in Oak Ridge her entire life. Once you're back on the highway, you'll quickly come to a fork in the road. Turn to the left and you'll arrive in Punta Gorda, the oldest permanent settlement on Roatan. The community was founded in 1797, when the British deported some 3,000 slaves from St. Vincent and stranded them here on a deserted beach. Today, you'll find a picturesque, sleepy seaside village whose residents still cherish the old ways and are happy to spend a few minutes sharing their stories with visitors. When you return to the main highway, the fork in the road to the right is where the pavement ends and the real East End adventure begins. Ahead is a fairly well-maintained gravel road that winds for about seven miles through a pristine rainforest and jungle canopy. If you have a strong, high-profile four-wheel drive vehicle, take the turn off to Calabash Bight and have a look at one of the most perfect natural harbours in the Caribbean. This is the Roatan most folks never get to see and it's easy to play Robinson Crusoe out here. Unlike the west end of Roatan, the beaches on the east end of the island are mostly deserted and one of them is almost two miles long. The resorts are simple, rustic and few and far between. Electricity didn't arrive until 2009 and when island residents want to escape the hustle and bustle of the West End, many come to Camp Bay for a pike to eat and to remind themselves what a magnificent place Roatan really is. From Camp Bay, the gravel road continues for about another mile up and over some fairly rugged terrain. Stick with it and you'll be rewarded with a view that's one of the most stunning and little seen on Roatan. The sparsely populated and impassable islands of Helene, Morat and Barbarat. One of the best ways to see the east end of Roatan is by boat. Oak Ridge is the place to find one. And the ride to Old Port Royal will take you past some of the most remote settlements on the island. Road access is limited and so is electricity. If you want to really get away from it all, this is the place to do it. Here you'll find the Port Royal Park and Wildlife Refuge, where not much has changed since pirates like Henry Morgan dropped anchor in the bay. The ruins of the British fortress at Old Port Royal remain one of the best kept secrets on the island. It was on this site back in the 1930s that the English adventurer Mitchell Hedges reportedly discovered four chests filled to the brim with gold doubloons. Maybe you will get lucky too. Roatan's Eastern Treasures is sponsored by Max Communications, Roatan's oldest and fastest growing cable company. Max Communications was the first to bring fiber optic cable to Roatan, and they continue to introduce innovative communication services, which include digital television, internet, telephone, and data transmission. By utilizing the highest quality standards and latest technology, their team of skilled employees is committed to customer service and keeping Roatan competitive in today's globalized world. Call or stop by the Max Communications office at the Mega Plaza in French Harbor. They also have offices in Coxon Hole in West End. Let them show you how they bring the rest of the world to your front door. Max Communications, serving Roatan since 1989. This is the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Today, Roatan's East End remains a gem that everyone can find. Undeveloped and unspoiled, a glimpse into a past that still flourishes. Make the journey and you'll discover not a pirate's plunder, but an island wonderland that remains an undiscovered jewel in the crown of the Caribbean. Step away from the noise. Take the road less travelled and come see for yourself. Roatan's Eastern Treasures.
You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Roatan has lots of great places to eat. You can see some of our favorites right here on the Roatan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. Celeste's Island Cuisine at West Bay Lodge is a delightful outdoor restaurant located in the heart of West Bay. Come by and say hello to the parrots and enjoy the famous gourmet baleadas, a fresh seafood platter, or a romantic lobster tail dinner. Evenings at Celeste are special, and on Thursday night, we treat our dinner guests to live music, described as a real hidden gem of West Bay. Come by and experience the fun and festive atmosphere of Celeste's Island Cuisine. Las Verandas Hotel and Villas has been setting the standard for dining excellence in Roatan. Las Pergolas is a sophisticated fine restaurant, while the Palapa Pool Bar offers a casual and relaxed dining experience. Both restaurants prepare exciting Caribbean American fusion cuisine, fresh seafood, flavorful entrees, and tantalizing desserts. Enjoy the happy hour from 3 to 6 p.m. Las Verandas invites visitors to come and experience our incredible cuisine and breathtaking ocean views. Uniquely located on the headlands of West Bay, Trattoria de Piero is a cozy waterfront restaurant serving the freshest of local seafood and delicious pastas. Every day we serve breakfast and light bites at lunch. Catch a spectacular sunset from our open air bar and try a monkey lala, the cocktail that put Roatan on the map. Plus a full dinner menu with happy hour from 3 to 6 p.m. When you're looking for a truly Caribbean dining experience, when taste matters, come and join us at Trattoria de Piano at Las Rocas Resort on the headlands of West Bay. Located on West Bay Beach, the Thirsty Turtle Beach Bar and Grill and Pizza Rama Brick Oven Pizza offer the ideal setting for great food, tropical drinks, sun, sand, and amazing Roatan sunsets. With lunch and dinner specials throughout the week, nighttime activities including a trivia night, karaoke, and live music, and home to one of the best happy hours in Roatan from 4 to 6 and all day Sunday. Thirsty Turtle is the place to be on West Bay Beach. Be sure to add the Thirsty Turtle to your must-do list in Roatan. Thanks for watching the Roatan Travel Network's Island Restaurant Guide. Buen appetito! Whether you're on a backpacking tour or an island vacation, be sure to visit Utila, the smallest and most intimate of the Bay Islands. The best and safest way to get there from Roatan is aboard the Utila Dream Ferry. Utila Dream is a state-of-the-art 30-meter catamaran yacht with a top speed of 32 knots. The ship provides safe, inexpensive, and reliable ferry service for passengers and cargo from Roatan to Utila each Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Utila Dream combines luxury with environmental consciousness. She has capacity for 280 passengers with 18 first-class seats, a smoking area, air conditioning, flat-screen TV, and a cash beverage bar. The vessel was built in 2015, and her state-of-the-art design ensures comfortable passage in all weather. The voyage is a quick 55 minutes, and Utila Dream's professionally trained captain and crew are committed to providing passengers with a safe, friendly onboard experience. Visit utilaferry.com for pricing, schedule, and reservation information. Take a vacation from your vacation and explore Utila aboard the Utila Dream Ferry. We'll save a seat for you. Welcome on board. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. Do you like what you're seeing on the Roatan Travel Network? So do most of the visitors to the island. Roatan! Through local TV and our online channel, RTN enables visitors to find lots of great things to see, do, and buy while they're here or planning their trip to Roatan. I loved it because I'm here on vacation and I wanted to know what I could do, where I could take them. So I turned on the TV and boom, there was my answer. From restaurants and real estate to dive shops and hotels, RTN offers a unique, effective and inexpensive way for businesses to reach potential customers through the most powerful advertising medium on the island, television. We saw that they had the refuge, it, it was a 
no brand. Literally, that was the reason that we booked the cruise we booked. And you get to use the video for all your other marketing needs as well. Call or email today, and we'll show you how the Roatan Travel Network can help your business grow. You never know if what you read is what you get, but this particular one actually exceeded our expectations. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island. You're watching the Roatan Travel Network. Welcome to the island.